Good day, YouTubers. Today I'm going to install a surge protection device at my load center, AKA or otherwise known as a circuit breaker box or from yesteryears, a fuse box. But before I get started, I should, should tell you or should disclaim that I'm not an electrician, but I do have AC and DC electrical training. And if you don't have that, I recommend that you get an electrician to do this install. But if you're going to attempt it, let's look at safety first. And in that regard, I recommend you have a pair of gloves, a rubber mat, and rubber sole shoes. Although I'm going to be installing this SPD, the surge protection device, and shutting off the main power, there's still 240 volts going into that load center. So word to the wise, safety first. Here are some tools that we're going to need. We're going to need a flat blade screwdriver, and if and um, the surge protection device in this case that I'm installing and I should say that Eaton makes three types of surge protection devices they make an external type they also make a in circuit or breaker type which is the one that I'm going to be installing that's a 30 amp BR 230 S-U-R-C-S. And don't be concerned about the CS. The CS only stands for Cutler Hammer Series. But you can also buy a BR-230 S-U-R and their equivalent. Now this type is made for an Eaton load center. That type B-R, B as in Bravo, R as in Romeo. And I chose to use this type of surge protection device because it offered me not only surge protection for the whole house, but I can also use it as a circuit breaker. And since I only have very limited number of circuit breakers in my load center, this was a great solution. Uh, not only that, if you choose to get a plug-in type of surge protection device that Eaton does sell. That type only has one year warranty. And also it doesn't offer you the ability to plug any type of circuit into the load center. But with this particular device, it does have a five year warranty. And it also has a $25,000 uh, connection device protection. So that's really good to have. Uh, of course, the best type of surge protection device is an external one, but I didn't have really room in my circuit, actually in the wall of my, where my circuit breaker the, uh, device is installed, excuse me. So I decided to go with this solution, which I thought is an ideal one. Uh, so safety first, I'm going to shut off the electricity, the main electricity at my load center. And just to pr protect me from any type of um, uh, current that could be in the circuit, I'm also going to disconnect the AC or my HVAC system fuse as well, because it possibly could have some electrical current there due to a capacitor that's in these units. So that's what I'm going to do, and uh, I'll be taking you along as I do that. Here's my AC unit. And since the circuit that I'm going to be using this SPD device is connected to this AC, I'm going to turn off this unit right here at the external circuit breaker box, or for better, an emergency shutoff. So I'm going to do that first, and it's a very simple operation. I've successfully pulled out the 
fuse for this AC unit, the external one or the emergency cutoff. And there you are, you can see it. There it's been pulled out and I have it on top of my air conditioned unit and I'm gonna leave it there and go back to the load center. Here's my load center, circuit breaker box. And right below you're going to see that I have a rubber mat placed at the bottom. Let me just uh, pan down. And there it is, there's my rubber mat. First step's going to be that I'm gonna open up the load center and shut off the main. So let's see if I can do that with this thing running. There's my circuit breaker. All right, and as you can see, there's, there's the main circuit breaker, excuse me, the main cutoff switch, which I'm going to do and turn off the power to the whole panel. So the main cutoff is off and I'm ready to remove the cover. The cover is off and as you can see here I'm going to be replacing this circuit breaker this double pole circuit breaker and replace it with the E10 SPD I have disconnected the two cables that are connected to the 30 amp double pole circuit breaker. Next step is to remove the circuit breaker. There you see it, I've removed the circuit breaker and it was fairly easy. All you need to do is um, push it, shut it off of course, the circuit breaker and push it from the innermost side out and then just rock it out. So that's basically Push this way and out. The new circuit breaker is now inserted into where I removed the previous circuit breaker and now I'm just going to connect the cables back in. Okay. The first thing I connected is the pigtail to the SPD device. And let's see if I can focus in on there, right? You can see it. Let me see if I can point to it. Right there. There's the pigtail and it's connected to the ground bust. Both cables are now attached to the SPD. And this job is pretty much done. All I need now to do is to put the cover back on, turn the main power back on as well, and trip the circuit breaker for the SPD. load center cover is back on the master switch is back on and now I'm going to go outside and put back my AC switch back on the AC switch is back on ready to close this up I've turned on the uh, SPD device for the AC circuit and as you can see the lights are on, power is in there and we should be all okay. Last thing to do is to mark the circuit breaker box that the surge protection is in here now and that will conclude the job. So just to review, this was a one for one replacement. I replaced the circuit breaker on the left with the br230 surcs and again it's a surge protection device for the whole house and as well as a circuit breaker so again this is one i use because i didn't have many circuit breaker slots left so my load center easily replaced the original circuit breaker 30 amp sacred breaker with the 30 amp type BR Eaton 
whole house surge protection. And I strongly recommend it because it has a five year warranty and it also has a $25,000 connected device protection. All right, this concludes it. Have a great one.